The Central Coast is somewhat unique in the sense that we're very, we're essentially a very rural area. Um, Can't San Luis Obispo has 40,000 people, and Santa Barbara has a larger population, but it's all spread out over a very large section of the Central Coast. Um, I think what's special about our collaborative is it's really about we don't have an agenda yet, which is kind of cool and also not sustainable entirely because you ultimately need your agenda. But right now we're definitely in in the storming phase of like everyone coming together, saying, you know, talking about what are the challenges, what are the issues we want to address, and developing strategies that, in the long term in a systemic way will make an impact. Um, but it's been just basically a lot of very good volunteer, and it's mostly volunteer, right? The people that participate in the collaborative are just showing up to the meetings every month because they care. So there's definitely a lot of, of passion for passion for STEM and STEM learning. Um, what I think has been unique and what CSLNet really pushed the needle on was helping us think out of our own little boxes, right? Because San Luis Obispo came together said, we want to address STEM, we want to do STEM. And Chris Rowe and CSLNet said, well, what about including Santa Barbara in that conversation? And we had our second STEM forum in Santa Barbara last week, and it was just so powerful for the San Luis Obispo contingent to go and learn about all of the things that were happening just 90 minutes away, because it's, it's only an hour and a half. Um, but without that kind of incentivizing of like, well, why don't you think a little bit more broadly, that's, I think, going to bring significant impact to San Luis Obispo back by having that, that larger collaboration. And then it extended more to all of CSL and that, like at this conference, our same contingency, a lot of, we're, you, can, you can just see the energy of our group seeing how much of a statewide effort they're a part of. So I think that's really powerful. Like we can get very, very focused on our own communities and not see the, bright, the broader pictures, the broader picture or the synergies that you can have with other communities.